This is my review for The Last Samurai, which is an older film from 2003. Uh, it's directed by Edward Zwick, who was, did mo movies such as um, Glory and Blood Diamond. Uh, so he does a lot of war movies, so this is definitely within his realm of, of where, where he's comfortable directing. Um, and this is probably one of the most faithful adaptions to history and a culture on the movie screen that I've seen, uh, besides his previous film, Glory, from 1989. Uh, the samurai culture and way of life and, you know, fighting style are all captured pretty well uh, in this war movie. Uh, it stars Tom Cruise in the main role, and uh, I initially was apprehensive about that because Tom Cruise, he's a decent actor, but... He really, when you see Tom Cruise in a movie, you're automatically thinking, okay, this is going to be another Tom Cruise movie. It's Tom Cruise. I, 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 you, it's hard to separate uh, the actor from the character he's playing because he is such a well-known actor. But he's actually, he, this is probably one of his best roles. In fact, I would argue probably it is his most powerful and emotional role that he's ever had. Um... And basically, he is a Civil War veteran who's an alcoholic, and he's just he's just down on his luck, and he's just a he's just in like a downward spiral after the Civil War, after he comes home from the Civil War, and he gets recruited by the army to go to Japan to train these new Japanese soldiers um, in modern fighting styles because Japan is in a transitional. St transitional period right now between an ancient way of life and the modern world which is enclosing on Japan every day uh, it's becoming a, an industrialized modern society and uh, Cruz's character is basically sent to train the soldiers well he actually gets ambushed his his regiment gets ambushed uh, by samurai and uh, the, one of the last of the samurai there aren't many left because they're being forced to give up the, their way of life. And the samurai that captures him is Katsumoto, who's the other main character played by Ken Watanabe. And basically the movie from there is just a, a study of two different ways of life. Tom Cruise and Ken Watanabe, they, their, their culture, it's a culture clash, but it's basically a retelling of, I guess to put it simply, it's like a retelling of Pocahontas and John Smith where the two cultures clash, and eventually they grow to understand each other better and learn from each other. Um, now the film, it, it's, it's shot amazingly. It was filmed in New Zealand, and it is so great to see a movie that doesn't rely on CGI. Um, I'm not saying I don't like CGI, but when a film cannot use it, I think it really benefits, because, and, it, and you clearly can tell when you're watching the film that that is real. And uh, New Zealand, it's a great backdrop. It looks just like ancient Japan, probably. And, um, like, the costume design, the weapons, all of the characters are... You, you really... It helps you get into the story better when everything is, is, amazing, is done as well as it is in this film. Um, the focus on the relationships between the characters, I think, in this movie is what sets it apart from most other war movies. Because in most war movies, you're getting a lot of action, and you're not really getting to know the characters very well. War movies don't usually want you to get to know the characters as well as in some other movies. They tend to focus more on the action, and they let the action define the characters. Uh, but Edward Zwick, the director, doesn't want to do that. He never does that with any of his war movies. He always puts the characters first, and it's very obvious in this film. Um, it, the script is concise, but it's effective in the dramatic sequences when it needs to be. There's not a lot of dialogue in this movie. It's a very visual movie when you're watching it. And uh, while there are battle scenes, they're secondary to the character stories. They really are. In fact, the climax of the movie, well, it's a battle, but it's not a big battle. And you kind of know what the outcome's going to be, especially if you know anything about history. And you know about Japan during the Meiji, Meiji society and their transition. Um, as far as comparing it to other war movies, I think it's better than Saving Private Ryan. And 
it's more emotional than those that in that movie, I feel. We get to know the characters in both the films in Last Samurai and Saving Private Ryan, but I think the film's message in The Last Samurai ultimately makes it better than Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I'm probably in the minority on this, but the film's ending is really, really powerful, and it's dramatic. So is Saving Private Ryan, I guess you could say, but Saving Pri Private Ryan is more about the journey. That's where you get emotional. Not so much at the end. In this movie, you're very emotional at the end. Uh, the journey as well, you're pretty, it's pretty dramatic with a few fight sequences that are really, really... Uh, well, the, the score really emphasizes the drama. Um, I feel that Cruz... While he did his best for this movie, he probably wasn't the perfect choice for this movie. Uh, they had to pick a star, though, that was bankable because this movie cost probably a lot of money to make. So they had to pick a star that was going to ensure that it was going to get a good return at the box office. But Ken Watanabe is amazing as the leader of the samurai, Katsumoto. He got an Oscar nomination for this movie, deservedly so, probably should have won. It's a great role. He does a great job at it for a guy who can barely speak any English. And this film, I recommend it to history buffs, anyone who appreciates story over special effects, and just in general, well, Tom Cruise fans will like it too. But it's not my favorite war movie. It does not eclipse glory, I don't think. But it's, it's very well made, and it's definitely worth checking out. It's up there with the best of the war movies, and I highly recommend it. I would give it three and a half stars out of four if I was doing a star system. So thank you for listening.